The 12 year saga surrounding Julian Assange has finally, finally come to an end. The WikiLeaks founder has reached a plea deal with the U.S. Department of Justice that officially allows him to walk free. We're going to see the latest on the extraordinary news surrounding Julian Assange, and we're going to see what's really behind what he did and why so many have been so adamant in destroying him. Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And also, you all know that I'm very passionate about the fact that we simply can't rescue our nation if we don't first take care of ourselves. And health actually starts with our livers. Now, if you think about it, we throw everything at our livers. Cholesterol, alcohol, toxins, Tylenol, statins, cigarettes, you name it. That's why so many of us have a sluggish, fatty liver that makes us gain weight and lose energy. But thanks to today's sponsor, there's a very real solution. Liver Health Formula is an all-natural supplement which contains 12 clinically proven botanicals that help recharge and protect your liver. It's manufactured right here in the USA and approved by independent American doctors. And if you click on that link below right now, you can try Liver Health Formula and receive a free bottle of blood sugar formula when you order today. So don't let a fatty liver keep you sluggish and inactive. Gang, you know, for me, this is very, very personal. I myself recently lost over 60 pounds, and I can say it was one of the best decisions I ever made. So now it's your turn. Click on that link below or go to getliverhelp.com slash Turley and claim your free bonus gift. That's getliverhelp.com slash Turley. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is finally free. After five years in a UK prison, Assange agreed to a plea deal with the US Department of Justice that allows him finally to walk free. According to court documents released yesterday, Assange pled guilty to conspiracy to obtain and disclose national defense information, and prosecutors are crediting the five years he already spent in prison as sufficient penalty for the crime, uh, the alleged crime, allowing Assange to return freely to his home. In Australia, Assange was, of course, accused of conspiring with military intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning to leak a trove of documents that included footage of an American helicopter gunning down 18 people in Iraq, including two journalists from Reuters. Assange also publicized emails exposing corruption at the very highest levels of the DNC, the Democrat National Committee. He published military logs from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as diplomatic cables. In response, Assange's lawyers, of course, argued that their client is a journalist and his actions were protected by the First Amendment. Again, we need to underscore here that Julian Assange did not himself hack into any national security database or anything like that. All he did was publish and report on what was presented to him. And for that, he was being jailed. Now, for me, Julian Assange is a fascinating symbol for how the Republican Party has radically changed here in the United States ever since the rise of Trump and the growing populist movement that's redefining politics all over the West. When Julian Assange was originally arrested at the Ecuadorian embassy in London after uh, the embassy withdrew his asylum, Newt Gingrich appeared on Fox News. And here's what he had to say. Hey, Newt, is this guy a hero or is he a villain? Well, I think if you believe in national security, if you believe in the safety of the United States, uh, he's a villain. Uh, I think it's a very good thing that the United States government is communicating that it may take a while to get to you. But if you violate our secrets, if you endanger our national security, uh, if you put the country at risk, we're going to come after you till we get you. And I think uh, that's exactly the right approach. <clears throat> Nobody has the right to leak secrets that could endanger lives and, in fact, could endanger the whole country. Now, that was the near monolithic take among the neocon dominated Republican Party. If you're a faithful Republican, right, you heard it. If you're all for national security, then Julian Assange is enemy number one, public enemy number one. But just a couple of years after that interview with Gingrich, something fascinating happened. Here's Tucker Carlson's interview with Jimmy Dore, and take a listen to what he had to say. 
know, the first person to be deplatformed was WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. And this would be a great way for Donald Trump to stick the thumb back in the eye of these people is to pardon Julian Assange. If he knows what's good for freedom of speech and freedom of the press, he should take this moment and pardon Julian Assange. I, t I totally I didn't used to think that. And I totally agree with it, partly because you convince me through the force of your argument. I think that's absolutely right. And Tucker went on to notice that according to the Washington establishment, the logic of the Washington establishment, leaking classified information that hurts the permanent political class is always considered a grave threat to national security and must be stamped out. But, but leaked classified information that helps the permanent political class is always an act of good faith. So there was no problem whatsoever when the FBI told the Washington Post that Russians were running our government through their agent, Donald Trump. That was all great and fine. No one went to jail over that. The Washington Post is doing us a great service when they publish that. When leaks implicate the people in charge, when these leaks embarrass and expose the corruption of the political class, well, then suddenly it's a national crisis and someone has to suffer for it. And unfortunately, that scenario is precisely what Newt Gingrich was defending. What I believe is essential to understanding and trying to make sense of all of this is a very interesting field of study known as state autonomy theory. Now, I think that sheds tremendous light on what Julian Assange did and how it was responded to by the deep state. In other words, if you want to really understand what Julian, Julian Assange did and the severity of the state's response to what he did, you have to understand what's called state autonomy theory. This is a theory that was first put forward by the political scientist Theta Scotchpool, and it basically argues that the state is largely a radically autonomous entity in that it acts according to its own interests and not the interests of the people, the citizens it claims to represent. In other words, because the institution of the state is completely distinct from the wider society by virtue of how it operates and that it governs by a wholly unique use of force and coercion and compulsion, right? The state can assault you and call it arrest. It can steal from you and call it taxation. It can kidnap you and call it imprisonment, right? Because the state operates in a wholly unique way by virtue of its legal capacity to inflict violence and force, it operates autonomously, meaning that the state ultimately governs according to its own interests, as opposed to the interests of the people it claims to represent. And so what this means is that thanks to these unique powers of coercion and compulsion of legal violence, government officials can enter into coalitions with groups in society, whether business, labor, political parties, international institutions, if they share the same goals as the state. Again, not of the people. State actors operate according to their own interests. They operate and govern according to what benefits the institution of the state, not what benefits the interests of the nation. Now, I think state autonomy theory is very helpful here in shedding light on what Julian Assange actually did. Newt Gingrich could not possibly be more wrong. Julian Assange did not threaten national security. Julian Assange threatened an autonomous security state apparatus that operates and governs in accordance with its own interests and hides behind the shield, the veneer of national security. That is what Julian Assange exposed. And that is what tried to destroy him in the process. And I'm very glad to see that more and more Republicans are coming out and seeing the truth of what's really happening with our unelected deep state. Here's your opportunity to tell big tech tyrants where they can stick it. Click on that link below and download our brand new Cancel Proof Turley Talks app. And you can sign our special declaration of restoration. That's our petition to big tech that declares a new day is dawn. They are no longer in control and we are taking our nation back. We've already got over a thousand signatures of courageous patriots and yours is next. Click on that link below or go to fight.turleytalks.com right now.